Hello, I'm Annie Larkin, Associate Curator of Public Programs at the Amerind Museum. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Carrie Cannon. Carrie is an Arizona Humanities speaker who will be giving a talk as part of our online lecture series. Amerind will host her talk for the love of turquoise online July 11th at 11 a.m. Welcome Carrie and would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, my name is Carrie Callisay Cannon. I'm a member of the Kiowa Tribe of Oklahoma. I'm also part Sioux. I live and work on the Wallapai Indian Reservation as an ethnobotanist, but uh, in my free time, I've become uh, just very involved with and passionate about turquoise. I'm a lapidary and silversmith artist, and so I began uh, researching turquoise more and more and, and came up with this uh, lecture that I've had great joy in sharing with others. What about turquoise inspires you? I hardly know where to begin because there's there's so much but uh, one thing that I find very interesting is from the beginning of time um, humankind has been captivated with adorning themselves with jewelry and uh, I've kind of been researching that a little bit uh, the earliest known case I've run across was a shell uh, bead that was discovered at an archaeological site in Morocco and it dated back to 80,000 years ago um, I, I kind of feel like if turquoise was around uh, in the Garden of Eden, probably Adam and Eve would have been adorning themselves with it. Actually, um, turquoise dates back to uh, 8,000 years ago is the earliest known turquoise mines. And those have been from the Egyptian region in the Sinai Peninsula. And so I've been interested in studying cultures worldwide, how they celebrate turquoise and, and include it in their, their jewelry and their art. Uh, and then on a personal note, uh, because I'm a lapidary and silversmith artist, uh, my absolute favorite um, aspect of the whole process of making jewelry is when you cut into a, a rock of turquoise and find out what's revealed on the inside. Um, it's always a slice of the beautiful that reveals itself. I find that in life, I'm always, I'm always chasing beauty. My eye is always chasing beauty. And, and with turquoise, I'm, I'm never disappointed. <laughs> 